Hi, my name is Danielle Studer. And my name is Grace Hemmelgarn. And today we're going to talk to you about environmental DNA as an indicator of round gobies. We did this project over last summer of 2021 with the Erie National Wildlife Refuge. You've probably heard about the importance of the French Creek watershed and French Creek, but just to review, it is the most spe species rich stream in the state of Pennsylvania. So it has more than 80 different fish species and 29 native mussel species that are really important for us to protect. The round goby is an invasive fish that is originally from Europe and was first detected in the French Creek watershed in LaBeouf Lake in 2014. It's a really dangerous invasive species because it can survive in many different habitats. Almost anywhere you put it except for the ocean, it could survive and then once it gets there, it acts really aggressively towards other fish, which can be harmful to those other fish, and it also breeds frequently and grows quickly. So once you have a few round gobies, you're going to end up with a lot of round gobies very quickly. We're really worried about the round goby being in French Creek because once it gets into a new system, it can steal food and habitat resources from other fishes and harm those other fish populations. It also can eat fish eggs, so that's harming those fish's ability to reproduce. Then it also eats native mussels that we really want to protect in the French Creek watershed, and it can also change the insect communities that are present in the stream by eating some of the insects, which changes the food webs of the entire stream section that it's in. Currently, the round gobies are just in a small part of the watershed, and we're working on tracking how they're spreading throughout the watershed. So currently, the most popular methods to determine whether round gobies are present in a certain area are physical capture methods. One method is electrofishing, which is where we put an electric current in the water and it stuns the fish so they can't swim for a second, and then we can scoop them up with a net. Another option is a benthic trawl, which is a big net that we drag along the bottom of the stream or lake from a boat. We can also use trap nets, which are nets that we place underwater and leave there, and they have bait in them, so the fish are attracted to the bait and swim in. Or we can use the kick seine, which is a long net that we stretch across the stream, and then we walk towards the net to herd the fish into the net. So those are four physical capture methods you can use to find out if round gobies are present. But another method of tracking the movement of round gobies is through environmental DNA, which is shortened as eDNA. So environmental DNA comes from cells that are shed by all living things in an environment. And all of those cells have the same DNA as the organism that shed them. So the eDNA can be used to identify who those cells came from. This makes eDNA a really good tool to use for early detection of round gobies because we can identify their presence even if only a few individuals are in the area. So this is a map of our study region. We had 60 collection sites, which are marked by the red triangles. We collected from streams and ponds. The red circle near LaBeouf Lake indicates where we know that round gobies are currently present. So in order to collect the eDNA, we just took water samples out of the stream or lake where we were. Then we filtered out the DNA with this device you can see on the right side here. And we sent those samples to a lab for analysis. The lab will give us results that says either yes, round gobies were present or no, round gobies were absent at each site. This information will be used so we can determine exactly where the round gobies are in the French Creek watershed. We will find sites where the eDNA found round gobies, but we haven't actually caught them. Those are the places that we will go to this summer with our nets to try to confirm the result by actually collecting round gobies. If the eDNA moder monitoring is continued over time, we will be able to monitor round goby invasion as it spreads throughout the watershed so we can understand how they're moving. We'd like to thank the following people on the slide for their help in the field and the lab to get this project done, and also the Erie National Wildlife Refuge for providing funding. And we hope that you enjoy this presentation and learning about the work going on with round gobies in the French Creek watershed.